Hurgen, blurgen, schlurgen, Oh, hi! Welcome to my kitchen! I'm Miss Nicole. You may recognize me from the library, but did you know that I'm also a chef? That's right. And my teacher was a famous TV chef. Can you guess who? No, not Gordon Ramsay. No, not Rachel Ray. My teacher was the famous Swedish chef. Bork, bork, bork. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple yet very delicious dish. Can you guess what we're making today? That's right, peanut butter and jelly, one of my favorites. But we're gonna add a special twist, a banana. Banana phone. Okay, what are we gonna need to make this dish? We're gonna need a simple butter knife, which you probably have at home. You may want to have your adult help you with this part. And then for ingredients, we need bread. You can pick white, wheat, cinnamon, raisin, whatever you like, peanut butter, crunchy or smooth, and jelly. What's your favorite kind of jelly? Mine, strawberry. Okay, let's get right into it, guys. First thing we're gonna do is put our apron on because as you know, my teacher was a little messy in the kitchen, so sometimes things can get a little out of hand. So you just go ahead and get your apron and put it over your head. Perfect. Okay, now let's get our bread out. You're gonna need two slices of bread, unless you're feeling really hungry, then you can make it three. So get out your bread and you'll lay it right down on the table. Perfect. Next, we're going to get our peanut butter. That's it, that's the one. We're using a smooth peanut butter today. Now take a nice scoop of peanut butter out. It's up to you how much you wanna use. I'm a big peanut butter fan, so I kinda use a lot. So once you have your scoop, spread it evenly onto both pieces of bread. Just like that. <laughs> nice and even. And then, you can even <laughs> save some for later if you love peanut butter as much as I do. Okay, so once you have your peanut butter spread out nice and even, or not even, it's up to you how you wanna do it, you'll go ahead and put on your jelly. Now, I like just a little bit of jelly. It's up to you, the ratio of jelly to peanut butter you wanna use. So go ahead and squeeze your jelly on there. Perfect. And then you might want to spread that around as well to make it even. So when you take a bite into your sandwich later, yep, you'll just take that knife just right there, okay, and then you'll spread the jelly around so it's nice and even. So when you take a bite later, you'll get even mixture of peanut butter to jelly in your mouth. Okay, and now for our special ingredient, the banana. So you're gonna take your banana and peel it. Oh, banana foam. Peel your banana. Did you know that monkeys actually peel their bananas from the bottom? It's true. And they should know, they're professionals, right? All right, so once you have your banana peeled, you will take your butter knife, same one, that's the one, and cut your banana into nice, even pieces. And be careful on your fingers, though. You don't want to cut those. Perfect. Okay. Now, take your banana slices and put them on to the bread. Nice and even. Flat and even. Even and flat. Yep. Perfect. Now, you'll take the other side and close it up. Make it into a sandwich just like that. And there you have it. A peanut butter jelly sandwich with a twist. Mmm, very good. <laughs> All right, so that's it for my kitchen today. Thank you for joining me. 
If you make your own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, be sure to take a picture and send it to me. Use the hashtag MCPL at home. We can't wait to see what you create. Bye.